On the last episode of Poorly Explained Comics, I ever so subtly hinted at a little bit of interpersonal strife between Captain Marvel and the long-standing X-Men member Rogue. And since I'm spinning my wheels until we're a little bit closer to What If and Echo, all aboard the X-Train! Choo-choo! Having run away from home as a child, Rogue was taken in by the shape-shifting Mystique and her precognitive girlfriend Destiny, who are running their own incarnation of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants because superhero comics aren't usually very big on subtlety, and despite what Jennifer Lawrence would have you believe, Mystique has never really been the hero type. One day, Destiny had a vision that Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers at the time, would ruin Rogue's life, to which Rogue said, Hell no, nah, and decided to go fight Miss Marvel herself, because apparently she's never heard of a self-fulfilling prophecy. And since Rogue's mutant ability allows her to absorb powers, life force, and memories from other people, she ended up stealing Miss Marvel's powers entirely, she got better, and even ended up taking Carol's memories as well. Rogue went on to use the Miss Marvel powers to fight the Avengers, shout out to Wonder Man for stopping her, infiltrated the Pentagon, this time only to be thwarted by Rom Space Knight of all people, and picked a cat fight with Dazzler out of petty jealousy. She lost. By this point, having a whole other person's memories in her head was starting to take its toll though, and Rogue ended up seeking help directly from the X-Men. This would cause friction between them and Carol for a while. Despite the probably less than best efforts of Professor X though, he is notoriously bad at every single one of his jobs. Rogue was still plagued by the copy of Carol's psyche, which would occasionally take over her body. Eventually, this copy of Carol was physically separated from Rogue after she came into contact with a magical item known as the Siege Perilous. The two shared the same life force, and each threatened the other's existence, but the situation was ultimately resolved by Magneto, who... Yeah, I don't want to get into his history with Rogue. Eventually, Rogue and the real Carol gained a mutual understanding and their feud ended, but I definitely wouldn't call them friends. None of this matters for the MCU, yet, but who knows what the future holds. Especially since... <laughs>